back to Jalen and Jacoby, Jalen Rose. I can't lie. The Duke basketball game and the NFL games all started at the same time. They what did. was I watching? Zion. ESPN. Oh, my God. Nah, nah, nah. When, nah, coming nah, nah. into the season, we knew he was a great dunker. We knew he was a great leaper, a great athlete. But he does so much more than that. Watching this game, the rebounds, the effort. He had six blocks, 16 rebounds. He had 21 points, not in the game, at the end of the first half. Jalen, I'm 100% sold not just on Zion, ugh, but on this entire freshman class. What have you seen from them in these first two games? Zion is a lion, king of the jungle. But I, I tell you, my takeaway from the game, other than the obvious, Army's kind of good. Army, they were down like six at the half. Army was kind of good. They were in good. the game a little bit. They balled. I want to give props to them. Shout out to them. And shout out to all of the veterans. My brother actually was in the Army. With that being said, the thing I appreciate about Zion, besides his personality and his just on-court generalship, like I watch for that in mm -hmm. players. He's unselfish. He has a big team personality. And he tries to affect the game in all facets. Oh, yeah. He was diving on the ground for loose balls. He gets a rebound. He's not looking for a guard. He dribbles up and looks for his teammates. In the first few possessions, he set up um, R.J. Barrett for three wide open threes. He only hit one, but he set him up for three wide open threes. No doubt. And I respectfully call him a bowling ball because you think about the power you put behind it when you throw it down the lane, you ain't going to get in front of it. Mm -hmm. And everything else just become pins. People just bouncing off of they him really do. as he go towards the basket. And it's not out of control. It's not wild. It's not undisciplined. It's so very powerful and so very athletic that his combination of height and bulk is something that the game hasn't seen to go with a level of athleticism that's terrific. He's just like so freakish of a prospect that you find yourself not even focused on R.J. Barrett who might be a better basketball player, has scored more points than he has, but it's just, when you see Zion, it's just like something you've never seen before. Jalen Rose, very quickly. KD, we've been talking about him maybe leaving the Warriors at the end of the year, and a lot of people have been talking about that. There's been rumors. So what did they do? They put KD in a construction outfit. Check him out. Here's KD. And they brought him over to the construction site for the brand new arena. Jalen Rose, while he was touring, look at, look at the outfit, by the way. The boots, the socks, everything is best. While he's looking at that arena, do you think he's thinking to himself, this is where I'm going to play basketball next year? That's a boss move by the team. Yeah, yep. No doubt about it. Because a couple of things, you get him in front of the Chase folks, who's mm -hmm. a sponsor. Yep. You get him in front of the Warriors brash. You put him in the new building, and you sell him on the fact that this could be your home going And forward. you put reporters there, too. Like Nick Friedel, who works for us, there's, it wasn't a mistake. He didn't just happen to be there that same day. And all of that is not going to matter when it's time to choose. Because once KD decided to leave Oklahoma City, he let everybody know he was controlling his own destiny. Two championships, two finals MVPs. If he's able to secure three and three, I think he may bounce.